All right, we have our TS tournament number four. We are currently in round three. So facing off against Crumpy. Both he and I advanced 2-0. So we are in round three. This is an important match between myself and Crumpy. As you can see from the tour, the top 16 will make it to the tour finals. Crumpy and I are both right on the edge at 18. Both have tied points, so whoever wins this has the potential to keep going and earning points to make into the top 16. So a very important match here. All right, we're going to go ahead and queue up game one. Code Crumpy. We are running nature. Let's see what Crumpy goes with. Goes with war. We are going to go with the badger going first. All right, we don't need the bull yet. Uh, Jaguar staff, we want something lower curve. A boar is amazing here. We'll stick with Jaguar, hog, and boar. Let's start with the wild hog. Yeah, I like to keep the uh, option for the uh, bag open. Maybe a turn, turn three blade fly. Okay, he goes with the golem. That's an easy kill for us. Hit that. Drop the boar. And then next turn, we follow up with the blade fly. All right, he goes with the Axe Woman with a health buff, taking out our Wild Hog out of misery. Okay, we're going to try to go here, get this free trade. All right, we missed, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and um, get out our Blade Flies. Loading up the board here to take care of whatever he brings out. We haven't seen a relic yet. We do have the Nefarious Briar ready for the relic. All right. He has an archer of some sorts or twin strike. Nice. That was a good cleanup right there. Okay. Pretty good value there. There's a five, six board, five, six hog. I mean, quite a big creature there, but that's going to be a little bit of a problem. I think we, we don't want to attack because we don't want to accidentally clear all our blade flies. Um, we can God power. And summon a Jaguar here. We could set up a kill next turn. We could use the uh, Jaguar and the Boar to take this guy out. It's quite a big hog. So the good thing is his hog's also confused. So not sure where it's going to go, but all right, that's a nice hit. Clears out our Jaguar cleanly. Very well. Okay, he's down to one card. Health buff, nice. Getting lots of health buffs here. Very nice play. 
Um, let's try to see if we can get this trade, please. Oh, jeez. That was a big, bad miss. Let's hit that. Oh, jeez. We're all missing now. Quite unfortunate. So I think we just played the boar here. The boar has two good, two good targets to trade off. This would be amazing. This would be an even trade. And then we play the um, the god power here. So we're a little bit on our back foot. However, uh, he is out of cards. He can start using his god power now to bring us to... Oh, the boar went to the wrong place. All right, so unfortunate targeting there. Got a nice pick up there, nice top deck, getting our 2-1 blade fly out of the picture. Able to pick up the form of power for a full clear. Very well played. Nice play there, Crumpy. All right, now we're just going to get smorked down. Um, a little bit too slow on our deck here. I don't think we're going to... Um, question now is... Yeah, I think we played the Briar here. There's Canopy Barrage, we could get a 50-50. Yeah, I think we go with the Briar here. He's going to want to try to clear it with um, the Longship or something. I'm fortunate that we got the Helion and the Ashen Drake pretty early on. It would have been nice if we got like the Hunt or something instead. Um, having this sitting in our hands for many turns is not the best thing to get. Getting that 5-6 hog was a, a key point in the game. It was just too big. Slow down our blade flies. We couldn't attack. And then he had a good clear followed up with the longship on our Jaguar. So just a nice sequence of events there for Crumpy. Okay, follow it up with the God Power. He's just racking up all the favor now. We are in danger. Okay, we have no choice here but to canopy. He's threatening five, six, seven next turn. Yeah, so pretty much has lethal, depending on if he has a relic in hand. Uh, we could just double canopy here. Nothing else we can really do. Oh, we got the archer. Okay, we can get the archer for full clear. We still can't play anything next turn. Ashen Drake doesn't come down till turn seven. So he just needs to keep hitting this God Power and don't think we have anything else to do at that point. Yeah, we have no heals in the Sanctum. Uh, I don't really run a straight heal in this deck, so in about a few more, two more turns maybe, he will have us. He's still at 25, so it's not like he's close to um, losing here. The Viking Longship, very nice. All right, we're down to three now. So a little bit too late for us. We um, we got stuck with high-end cards in hand. Uh, don't think we'll be able to catch up here. We're dead, Not if not this turn, the next turn for sure. So GG's, Crumpy. Okay, so we just pass here. He has the sight. GG's.
All right, uh, let's go ahead and change. I'm expecting light now. Um, I believe that's his, his second choice. So let's go with this one. Okay, we're same code when we're ready. Let's go ahead and log in. Code this Crumpy again. Good luck, Crumpy. Game two, here we go. Maybe nature. Oh, light. Okay. So let's go with light. Let's go with distraction. We are going second. That's tough. Light going first is very strong. So we are on the back foot here going second. Um, I think we want something reactive in a low drop. A hidden one is decent. Trial spirit, not too helpful here. We were looking for something like Umber Arrow. Health buff, yep. <laughs> nice opening there. Nothing we can do about that. Go ahead and drop that in. Uh, we can go ahead and equip our dagger now. Um, let's start chipping away here. That gives us an option to dagger and cheat to get rid of this next turn. We could trade here. Okay, he has a cudgel. That's no, we're not we're not we're not angry about the cudgel here. A cudgel is decent. Okay, so we can trade here. And then we can hit here. And cheat it. Okay. We have to be careful when we drop our Jinx Blade because he has the cudgel. So I'm expecting, yep, an Acolyte. All right, him attacking face there tells me he probably has another relic in hand. So I think we got to drop the Jinx Blade soon here. We need a creature on the board to start growing. Well, he has the archer, maybe another relic, or he really just got power. Ooh, a big turn there from Crumpy. Very nice. Okay, so we don't have, unfortunately we don't have Umber arrow. Umber would be quite crushing here. So we can't do this. Um, we can, we can go ahead and make this a three three. Ah, okay, we don't have twin strike. Just confirming. So he could pick up the Aurochs here. Okay, takes that free trade. Highborn Knight. That's going to have to be a, a, a direct trade here. There's nothing else we can do about that. 
Hit that. Sacrifice. So good news is he's out of cards. I guess he's thinking if he needs to attack. Um, oh, he's deciding which one to buy. Okay, he went with the Arox. Not bad there. So we could drop this guy. Break his... Okay, so we can break this right here. Trade one for one. Drop that guy. And this guy. Hit here. Or do we go here? I think we take the free trade here. And then we can then um, run a fire it out of the way. Okay, so he has a battle Aurochs in hand and nothing else. There's the Aurochs. Okay, I think we um, trade this and shiv it. Trade this in. Shiv. Drop the other Jinx Blade. So we have to watch out for a Master of Indulgence, since, right? So we don't have to we have to watch our health here. We can't just let the health keep going. We have to be aware of Master of Indulgence and use it for trades. So this will be a 4-4. We get to attack here. So we're okay using the, um, the attack here like this. All right, so we're gonna be a 2-1. A we're okay with that. This one hits here. Cheat it. We could draw another card here. I think card advantage against light is very important because he does have the um, the acolyte god power that keeps um, producing creatures. So we want to make sure we can counter that by having creatures in hand. So we're keeping our health fairly low here, not too high. Watching out for the Highborn Knight, I mean, uh, the Master of Indulgence. Okay, so perfect here, perfect Umber Arrow. Hit here. Dagger into it. Drop a 2-3. Okay, at this point, I think we just go super wide here. Yeah, let's just go super wide. I don't, light doesn't really run any kind of board clears, so we're not worried about anything here. We're going for lethal. All right, GG Crumpy. All right, game three. This is a great matchup so far. Appreciate the matches, Crumpy. Uh, we have to go back to our nature. Um, expecting his light again. We'll see how nature does against it. Let me make sure I pick the right deck. We don't want to get accidentally disqualified for picking the wrong deck. All right. All right, here we go. Game, game three. Same code, Crumpy.
All right, here's game three now. He went with nature, nature versus nature, nice. All right, we are going second. I like this opening hand for going second. Um, we have the wild hog in case he misses here. And we could follow up with the under of Broar into the staff of roots. I like this opening hand here. Actually, we're going second, so let's look for something better than the wild hog. Something like a nice like a jaguar. There we go. Yeah, we could take advantage of our bag here and go with the jaguar. So we could actually go with our underbrush boar here. Get him down to a 3-2. Yeah, let's go with the boar. Let's be aggressive. Get him down to a 1-1. A one, one. He can canopy barrage here. And then we have the staff of roots to kill his marsh walker. Then we could drop a wild hog next to it. He has the fey fame blade. So kind of like the same idea that we had. And we're okay with that. We're going to go ahead and equip our Staff of Roots here. Staff of Roots. Kill his Marsh Walker. We were going to drop... I think we can still drop the Hog here. Hog or Marsh Walker. So I'm thinking he might have Canopy. And it doesn't really matter, I guess. Let's just go with the Marsh Walker. Marsh Walker is more value. If he has the canopy, he has it, but that's a one mana creature that saves our Jaguar, so we're okay with that play. Marsh Walker's more threatening than the Wild Hog. So, okay, let's expect the um, canopy barrage here. There it is, we're, and we're okay with that. We expected that. Now that saves our Jaguar. Next turn, we could do Hog into Jaguar. He's thinking about his back here. Does he back out the god power or does he pass this? I believe that's what he's thinking. He could pick up the archer next. So let's see what he goes with. He decides to save his back. So since he already played his canopy brush, well, actually, you know what? That's not worth it. So we can drop the rhino here, back out to the rhino, but if he clears it, we are so behind. So we're going to go with the uh, wild hog into the jaguar, make it harder for him to deal with those two. Although he can drop a four mana jagu uh, rhino, and that would be a stop for us. We can't attack into it because we can't guarantee clearing it. We would just respond by dropping our own rhino. Drops a goat. Probably bags something out now, maybe. Hits the jaguar. Clears the jaguar. Nice play there. That was a nice suicide play. We got the lucky barrage here. Attack with the hog. Summon the animal bond badger. Jaguar Staff, clean play. Nice move there. Okay, we drop the Rhino. We don't attack with here because we don't want to clear for him. Um, and we saved the, our bag for the Healing Elite, so I'm just going to pass here. If he takes the chance here, he could run into this, which I think is okay because he does have a two attack here to clear it off. So he can still take this trade. I mean, he could go here, so which means he got the perfect trade. Um, if he missed, he still would have been okay to attack there. So not too bad. All right, summons another Jaguar. Did take a lot of damage there, though. He's at 12 now. Oh, and finishes off with the boar. Nice. And the goat. Wow. Nice, Grumpy. That's a big turn for him. Oh, lucky hunt here. Top decked it. 
that's going to hurt. We had to hunt that turn because his Jaguar was injured with um, eight life, uh, sorry, with two life, adding up the total to eight. Our hunt only does eight. So we couldn't pass there. We had to um, drop the hunt, guarantee a full clear. All right, he's looking for some card draw. Okay, drops another boar. So we can pick up the archer here and clear one of these guys off. Or we could drop a blade fly. I think we go with, we'll go with blade fly here. And then we pick up one of the archers. Let's pick up the archer here. And take out. We'll hit the we'll hit the uh so we're gonna we're gonna hit this guy here. And the reason for that is that way if he misses, he clears himself off the board. We can hit one of the one ones, but the one ones will get cleared by our blade flies eventually. So we're not worried about that. We're worried about this one getting value. So we, we're damaging it now preemptively so if he tries to attack he could clear himself off let's see what relics crumpy has used one staff one faith flame okay so you could possibly have another jaguar staff that's pretty strong play there the trial of the hydra Nice play there. The boar misses though. I think boar was trying to go and clear one of these guys. Unfortunate for Crumpy there. Okay. One card each in hand. He does have a slight advantage. Six, seven, eight. Another lucky top deck for us here with the hunt. This is a full clear. We play the hunt here. Keep the pressure on. And this is going to be very hard for Crumpy to try to recover now. What can he do? Maybe buy this guy. We're going to buy the shield maiden from him. We don't want him to put that front line there. Canopy Barrage. That's a, a decent play, I guess. It's all right. Not too strong, but what can you do? Two top deck hunts was pretty nasty there. It came at the right time with the right amount of health on the board. So very difficult for Crumpy there. All right, so he has an ogre. He bought the rune of fire. Okay, so we have the staff here. Let's go see if we could um, go face here. Just go for the, okay, we missed. So I think we just hit here. Get the jaguar out. He did buy the rune of fire, so we don't want him to be able to um, to use that on a creature we leave on the board. All right, you place a Rune of Fire on the Jaguar. So we can do hit this. Let's just keep maintaining the control here. All right, I think that should be game. All 
Sorry, you just passed this. All right, GG, Crumpy.